Hello my friends and welcome to episode 12 of our Football Manager 2020 Let's Play Queen's Park Going Pro. Today we are kicking off season 2 of our series as we take on Dunfermline in the league. We've obviously already covered the Betfred Cup. I'm not going to cover too many of those games in the group stage phases because it's fairly pointless to be honest. Um, they've actually got a regen in this team. I'm going to have a quick scout of him, see what he's like. He's actually pretty decent, isn't he? Uh, Austrian. <laughs> he came through at Revolution Academy and somehow ended up at Dunfermline. He's a regen, so he's probably one of those players that the game sort of added at the start. When I told the game not to do that, but for whatever reason it still does. We've gone with probably our strongest available team. Jack McCourt actually was fit enough to play this game, which really surprised me, so he starts. Um, despite me having some concerns over him. We've got Ryan Mullen in goal with Neko Williams, Kyle Benedictus, Aidan Wilson and Jack McCourt in the midfield. Regan Thompson and Dean McMaster take on the midfield with Lyons, Purdue, Conway and Henry making the attack in three. We've got Craig Moore on the bench. I've not really had a big chance to see him yet. Gallagher and Henry have really rotated the Betfred Cup games. Just for whatever reason, that's what my staff kind of recommended. And Moore's fitness sort of dropped off as a result of that. Um, well, Graham does have a knock, but he's fit enough for the bench, so hopefully you guys might get to see him later on if we need to. Obviously, slightly nervous about this game, given how much of a doing they gave us in the last one, but, you know, I'm going to go with the simple no pressure. No pressure option. bit frustrated that they've managed to come down with such a strong side, uh, because, you know, it makes getting out of this division so much harder for us. Um, in all reality as we kick off this game without a highlight we do now have a highlight as Murray Frozen cleared away by Purdue only as far as Turner whipped in this bit is a mile off <laughs> you cannot tell me he is onside there who is playing him on going to watch our defensive line here as this comes back in because Go back just to talk. I can't. Can I? Yes, I can. Who's that playing him on? What? A right winger is playing him on. Oh my days. Why are you so defensive? That's crazy. Absolutely crazy defending. For a right winger to be that defensive. Turner whips in. Miguel off the bar. Lines clears. Okay. Let's change things up a little bit. Um, you come back. You come back. You can now be a... The line playmaker and support. You can stay to that. Play for set pieces. In fact, I might even bring Purdue back as an advanced playmaker as well. Just to try and give a bit more... Wilson, you're actually not that good at marking, are you? You're 11. Okay, yep, you can mark. Mark specific player, Kevin Nesbitt, please. You mark specific player, Cavi McGill, please. Let's just get those two out of the game straight away. And hopefully now, kick on. I know they're being played out of position game. Don't even tell me that. Um, Another... Highlight, starting with them on the ball. In fact, have we touched the ball on a single highlight other than uh, Purdue's header to clear? Ashcroft launches forward. Benedictus heads back. Jack Purdue, obviously a bit more deeper than we're used to seeing him. Poor pass. Oh, it's cleared away. Nesbitt. Benedictus, you have to get there. And you've got to be better than that, Kyle. <sighs> Just not at the races. Whipped in, back stick. It's pinging around. And eventually cleared away by Neko Williams. Eventually. <laughs> Not a good start to this game. Gonna go with a show some passion. See if we can kick us on a bit. It's whipped in for Jack Thompson on loan from Rangers. Went back across for Jack Thompson over the bar. It's actually Joe Thompson. I thought they loaned Jack Thompson. And that's why I'm calling him Jack Thompson. Genuinely thought, but it's Joe Thompson. I do apologise for that. 
not a good half for us. Not a good half at all. But we're only behind to one individual error, really, as we kick off the second half of this game. Hopefully we can get a bit more. Another highlight, starting with them on the ball. Cromie froze in to Nesbitt. Somehow free on the box on his own as it's knocked away. Turner picks up. Fisher. Thompson. Whips it across. Murray in all sorts of space. Benedictus with the sort of big kick away. Wang. Maybe need to push Purdue a bit further forward again. Wilson away. Joe Thompson. Comrie. Williams away only as far as Murray. Thor. It's never Thor, but that's what I've seen. It's Turner. <laughs> Fisher. Played across Murray again in all sorts of space. Williams getting a good block in. A good ball in again. Nesbitt. Miguel hits the post and away. We need to get something in this game. Come on, guys. Maybe a bit more higher tempo would work. Hmm. I don't even think we've got the players on the bench to change this one. We may bring on Callum Notley for McMaster. Campbell Notley, rather. I'll go with a get creative. See if we can fire something into them. Push the midfield forward again. You will now be a Mazelia on support, please. And final, well, second change rather, we'll bring on. I really don't have the right bench on here. Sam Jamieson, flick Conway onto the right, see if that works for us. We've not even had, we've even had a shot in the second half. Tell you what, let's go for that. Very attacking. Nothing more, maybe a bit more of that. Uh, bring you back down slightly. And Will Graham for Regan Thompson. Again, just little changes here and there. See what we can do. Gill launches forward. Comrie goes right past McCourt. Thankfully, nobody's there apart from Neko Williams. Clears away. Wang. Kirkin. Oh, he's just ahead of us. They're just bossing us. As Fisher hits it, Benedictus are the response. They deserve the win, to be fair. But the goal that we've conceded is such a frustrating goal we concede. Because the right winger should never be that deep. It's cleared away. Jamieson on to it. End of highlight. Seems to be any time we touch the ball, highlight ends. Well, Graham, can we hit them? Can we get men forward? No, we're just going to tackle ourselves. And then that costs us the ball. Because, you know, that's the right thing to do. Is run across your teammate when you have when he has the ball. And allow them to get back. Benedictus. Neko Williams. Launch forward. Finds nobody. Adani. Long. Williams clears again. Thompson. Good challenge from Conway. Williams. Plays it forward. Again, Doyle whips it back. Fisher. It's Nenny Kevin Nesbitt. Good save. Williams clears. We just can't get the ball and keep it, can we? That's the problem. We've never been able to keep the ball for more than about two free passes. Williams launches away. Can't think of a game where we have not bossed possession and been crushed like this. You know, even Celtic, we were matching possession. Henvey, Jamieson. Not really the ideal sub Jamieson there, but really was he? Um, whips it across for Conway. He's got no legs in him anymore. And that's such a short highlight. It's not even a worthwhile highlight that. Ugh. What a way to lose a game. What a way to lose a game. Gonna try and just keep the morale up. We've got Airdrie. Airdrie next. It doesn't get any easier, guys, does it? First two games, in fact, let's have a look, actually. We'll go up one. 
stages last season. Morton and Dunfermline, the two that came down, go down. Last season, where did Airdrie, Airdrie were third? It's about the two hardest games you could have had to start the season off. Really, isn't it? Uh, so next episode, we will come back for Morton, the other team that came down. Makes sense. Also away from home. In fact, three of our first five games away from home. Really not ideal. Particularly when three of those five are against four of the other. Um, in fact, four of our first six games are away from home. Are they? I'm not looking at this right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, four of our first six games. No, three out and three. Yeah, it's three and three. I'm reading this wrong. Half of our away. <laughs> but they're all against the professional clubs. It's not the easiest start in the world for us. Hopefully, we can pick up some results between now and Morton. If you've enjoyed this episode, regardless of that shocking goal we concede, hit like, hit subscribe. Leave me a comment down below what you would do tactically to try and change that game. And I'll hopefully catch you all next time.